What's up, guys? We are back from our end of year break. I call it Christmas time is stressful. My ADHD kicked in and I don't really do anything productive. Break. All right. Now that we're over today, we're going to be beginning the new year with something old. Now, by old, of course, I mean retro mascot logos like this and this one completely inspired by Miss Minutes from Loki. Let me know in the comments down below if you've been watching Loki. It's pretty awesome. We're gonna do these completely in our favorite design software, Canva. Let's get into it. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I'm your content cleric. Around here, we make simple videos just like this one to help you level up your stream on a budget. Today, we're making mascot logos, retro mascot logos uh, using Canva. So if you want something like this for your stream, hey, this is how you do it. Now, I will say today's video will require you to have Canva Pro because several of the elements we're gonna use are only available to Canva Pro subscribers. So if you don't already have Canva Pro, check the description. I'll have a free link down there for you. Get you 45 days free of Canva Pro. Okay, anyway, let's get into it. Obviously, canva.com, if you don't already have one, create an account. Then we're gonna go to create a design. I would go with logo, but I actually want it larger than the 500 by 500 square. So I'm just gonna go with a custom size and I'm going to go 1500 width by 500 height. That should give us plenty of room to make what we want to work on. All right, bit wider than I wanted it to be, but it's fine. So we are going to be building this completely from scratch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to elements and under elements, we're just gonna search mascot. Now, as you see, we're gonna get some pre-made mascots. Now, if you wanted a cup of coffee mascot, it's right here. You can flip it for whatever direction you want. You can absolutely use that. If you wanna see more, you can hit see all on the magic recommendations. And there's going to be a ton. There is a solid chance that your logo is done <laughs> right now. Like there is a good chance that one of these is what you wanted and they are excellent. However, that's not what we're gonna be doing in this video. We're gonna be specifically working with a face like this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click the first one. If you scroll, you'll find more, uh, but I'm just gonna click on the first one that's kind of the style that I want, which is this, you know, the bubble eyes and the face, the nose, and we're gonna hit see all. And I'm going to find the expression that I want. You see there's several, there's some that are just eyes, there's some that's like three eyes. You know, if you wanna do like an alien or something, you can absolutely do that. Um, there's the scared face, which, hey, if you're wanting to make emojis, uh, I'm sorry, Twitch, uh, what am I thinking? If you're wanting to make emotes, uh, there are a lot of different expressions that you could change out onto your character, onto your retro mascot uh, to use in emotes as well. Maybe that'll be a future video. But for this video, this is the one I want. I like the whistling face. I think that one looks good. So I'm going to do, use that one. I'm going to shrink it down just because I know I'll need a little bit of room. Now I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna stay in elements and I'm gonna keep mascot and I'm gonna go mascot arms because I need some arms. Now I specifically want my mascot to look like he's moving, like he's going forward. And I, we can see his face is already tilted to the right. Now I could tilt him the other way with my flip button if I wanted him to go that way, but I kind of like his movement to the right. And so I really like this kind of, you know, I don't know, finger guns right here, just something like that. And so now I need something on the other side that's a little more static. And so under magic recommendations, I'm gonna hit see all. Um, a fist seems almost, I think this is better. The fist seems, you know, maybe a little less friendly. Uh, and again, I'm gonna flip, flip horizontal, kind of shrink it down to size how we want it. Now I'm gonna try to match roughly the size of that one. So his arms feel natural, there we go. We kind of already have a mascot going on and so now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do mascot legs and we're going to look through all of these legs i do want the legs to look kind of like he's moving so i'm just going to click these i don't really intend to use them but i intend to click the magic recommendations uh and so i want to see if i can find some here we go these right here where he's you know moving forward right looks like he's walking a little bit and we'll work on all of our sizing and stuff in just a moment just trying to get a rough guess i think let's see now those feet may look like he's moving a little too much oh here we go these are perfect yeah there we go i like those better okay 
So mix and match, find what you want, but you can kind of tell we already have essentially our, our retro mascot. Now we just got to figure out what we want his body to be. And so we could go marshmallow. Marshmallows, first thing I thought of, right? And so now we're going to try to find a body. Now, if it already has a face, that's not that big of a problem. We can fix that for the most part. Um, but we're going to look. We're going to see what we can find here. That would look good on this one. I also don't want to, this to take too long. My goal is to not have to edit very much. All right, this one's good. Uh, and so now I'm just going to size it up over over this just like that, right? I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Now what I can do is I can click this and I can go to position and I can click my layers panel and then I can bring this down here below the face and I can decide, okay, I want his legs to go behind him. The legs are gonna be behind beneath there. And I want this arm because of the position, this arm I think I want out so you can kind of see like it's coming out of his side, you know, like an arm does. But this one, you wouldn't actually see the shoulder. So I'm gonna bring it down below the marshmallow. Just like that. Now, I feel like we're pretty close. Now, um, I may want to, obviously a marshmallow would be white, but then I completely lose it. So let's go with a light gray for now. And then I don't want this red. I just want to make this black so that kind of goes in like that. I think that's pretty solid looking, right? So there we go. We have a, a marshmallow retro mascot now i could make this background a color let's just let's make it a gray right and that way i can make my marshmallow white and there we go there is our first mascot done so what we're going to do is because i don't want to delete him i want to have all of them available so i'm going to hit this button right here and i'm going to duplicate it and i am going to use pretty much all of my same components that i have but i'm going to make it a little bit different let's say we don't want a marshmallow he's actually a ghost Okay, so obviously with our ghost here, a lot of them already have faces and that's fine. I'm just gonna find the shape that I want. I think really I've seen it right up here. I think the shape right here is perfect for what I wanted to do. Um, I kind of want it to look like he's a ghost, but you know, maybe he's just under the cape because he actually has legs coming out. So we'll do something like this. I'm gonna tilt this arm just a little bit. And all right, let me go to my layers real quick. And I'm going to bring this here like that okay so now i'm gonna go back to elements and i just want to use a square and all i'm doing is i'm making a white square to cover up his face so make it white or cover up the face that is already there so just like that okay and now maybe i shrink this face down make it look a little better and there we go we have a ghost mascot but let's say we want to change up his face, right? So we're gonna hit see all, same way we did before. I'm gonna delete that one because I really just wanted to see the recommendations. Now let's see, what do we got? Let's actually, I'm just gonna delete this face and let's put this one on him. And so now I'm just mix and matching his face. Now that one doesn't have the same movement that my other one had to it. So that one he's looking more forward. So I may change out the legs so that he's looking forward. I may change out his arms so that it, they're more forward facing, right? Um, but here we can actually, you know, kind of toy around. We can do what we want. Let's put this one on him. This one has kind of the same motion. He's, he's turned to the right. And there we go. We have, you know, that on our on our ghost. And this is something that we can do. We can keep playing around. We can change out the face. We can find what looks good, right? We can find what we like, what, uh, how we want our figure to look, right? And so something we can toy around with. Maybe I want to go and I'll change out his arms. This will be the last last change we do, right? And instead of finger guns, he's maybe he's we'll click the finger guns just so we get the magic recommendations. But maybe he's waving, right? I think I think wave is good. He's he's waving at us. Just like that, right? Or or maybe he's Yeah, maybe he's telling us that we need to need to rock out or something you know right like because you can you can play with this make it how you want again i'm going to bring this arm behind him i think that looks good right and then we can kind of work with that how we want now let me zoom back out and we'll do one more third one um, i'm trying to think if we can do something a little bit different put it down here okay all right so i'm going to delete that and we will go into our elements i'm trying to think just something didn't have this part planned hmm Uh, 
Let's go with a orange. We'll see if we can find an orange that would work here. Okay, this is solid, I think. Now, can I change colors? I can't. So I don't really want this many colors. That doesn't really... It, to me, I don't think that works with the, the retro style because it was a lot more flat imagery. Um, so I think something like this. I think this works better. Yeah, this is good. This is good. All right. Like that. So zoom in a little bit. Go into position. Same as before. Like that. I mean, I think I think we're solid. And then we can go in and we could always change some of our colors, right? And and make it all match, maybe fit a little better together, right? Oh, uh, maybe the shoes you can't change. They they stay white. But I bet if we played around, we could probably find one where we could change the color of the shoes. But just like that, we now have a orange mascot logo. Now, the logo is never really complete unless you add a little bit of text to it. So we will go in and we'll go into our text right here. First thing I'm gonna do is I wanna go into these font combinations and I just wanna scroll around for a minute and see if I can find anything that kinda fits. So I'm gonna put this one up here for now. I don't know if we'll use it, but we're just gonna look and see. Um, let's say we're gonna be, I need a name. <laughs> uh, we will go with Toasty. We'll go with Toasty here, okay, right? So maybe your stream name is Toasty, right? And so we can go in here. Obviously, if we have this effect, we're going to want to change the color of the effect to kind of match what we have already. All right, I don't love that effect, so let's just take the effect off. We could do something like this, right? And all we're doing is kind of finding a, a font that matches what we have. Uh, I kind of want to add maybe a an outline to it. Uh, let's see. Let's just do a black outline on the words. There we go. I feel like that fits pretty good. We could always play around with the font and find something. I want something kind of retro. Let's see. Ooh, okay, that feels solid. That looks good. There we go, that's solid. All right, so something like, like that, and maybe now that I've had to bring that up, I'll drop my thickness for my, that up down a little bit. Yeah, and so we end up, you know, something kind of like this, make sure this is full white so it matches. There we go. Same thing for our ghost, we're gonna choose, his name will be Casper, right? Iconic ghost, right? And so let's go with spooky. And we can kind of, for the most part, we can type in a description and it will kind of show us fonts that fit that description, right? So I typed in scary and now it's giving me kind of scary fonts. And uh, obviously with him, he's kind of fun. He's not that scary. Uh, but I would like something that feels like it, it fits his vibe a little bit. That's an interesting feel, right? Right, okay. Anyway, we play around with our fonts. We can match it up. We can even do some stuff where, and now I wish I would have made this uh, wider, but we could even do some stuff where our fonts down here and we group we group up our mascot and, you know, our mascot's actually like, you know, walking around on top. You know, we could always do something like that and we could play with its orientation. But really, Canva gives you a lot of tools here that you can play around with that you can make some cool stuff with. So, hey, I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys make some really, really cool retro mascot logos. If you do, make sure you join my Discord. I have a, a channel in there just called Share Your Art. Love to see what you guys make. But hey, if... if bruh, bah, bah, I'm leaving that in because I just said that I was not gonna do any editing to this video. So no editing involved. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, we make videos just like this and I should be getting back to a weekly video release. I uh, also have some reviews coming up. I think we'll have my what might be the best cameras of 2024. We'll see, and yes, I said cameras. We'll get into that later, maybe another video. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you. 
Thank you for stopping by. If you haven't already subscribed here, follow me over on Twitch, and I'll see you guys in the next one.